crash. I shouldn't have done that. I let my emotions take over, and I was wrong for that. So my apologies. And lastly, I'm running out of time. The uh, Veterans Monument was vandalized, and I'd like to offer a $1,000 reward. There's a lot of high school kids here, and they could spread the word to the arrest and conviction of who did that. If anybody knows, you call the police department. They'll get a hold of chief. Arrest and conviction, you get $1,000. Excuse me, Mayor, I was handed in a, a final card. I have Christine Canapa Beggs. I apologize if I said your name wrong. Okay, good evening, uh, Council, Mayor, and uh, everyone up on the dais. I appreciate this. I wasn't really anticipating to speak tonight, but um, I first of all, thank you for that time to speak because I think it's really important. And I chose to speak because of my experience attending the last council meeting and how a member of this community who was just speaking was allowed on this podium to make slanderous and libelous remarks without anyone stopping him. Mr. McAuliffe had nothing to say relevant to city business. And I assure you that what I'm about to share is related to city business. And it's about leadership. I've known Mr. I'm going to declare this now. I've known Mr. Felipe for 20 years. And at one time, I was a paid business strategist for the Felipe Winery. I can assure you that the statements that Mr. McAuliffe made were out of context. And what he claims to be fact is a deposition by the other family member. It is not fact. And if he had taken the time to read the case, he would see that his allegations are incorrect. And it was proven. And I'm going to tell you, I provided over 700 emails to that case because I was a strategist. But this is about business for the city. First and foremost, Mr. Musser, I hold, I and many people hold you accountable for not stepping in and stopping Mr. McAuliffe's ambush. The non-factual display was non-city related business. Why? When the opening statement of every council meeting is stated, it must be city related. I don't understand this based, and I also would have hoped that the city attorney would have stepped in as well, knowing what the repercussions could be. My point being here is the leader, a CEO, a manager, a mayor, a supervisor, whoever it may be, is accountable for their people. And you allowed that to happen when it was non-city related business. And I am ashamed and I am embarrassed. And I was really embarrassed for the students that were sitting in the back of that room from the government class saying, whoa, isn't anybody going to stop that? That's not cool. That was a reflection on you and your leadership. And I'm just going to point out an example. CEO of Volkswagen, okay? Guess what? He didn't know what was going on in the lower levels, but he was accountable. You knew what was going on, and I know you're accountable. And maybe perhaps it's because of your disagreements with Mr. Felipe. All I ask is that you take that and you flip it around and you ask yourself if you were sitting in that same position, if you would have allowed it or liked it. I think not. What I witnessed was embarrassing And I'll say that again. It was embarrassing because it it demonstrates the lack of continuity that we all know that the council has, but the fish rots from the head in an organization. It's the top down and that dictates the culture. The next, and I have, as you can tell, I'm pretty pissed. The next time that Mr. McAuliffe feels it necessary to slander and speak remarks that he took out of context that if he read the later cases, the dates that he referenced were not correct. I suggest he too flip it around and look at himself and ask him if he would wanna be sitting up there. I know he's run for council and guaranteed people look. I know I'm running out of time. Thank you for your time. 